I'm much happier, though. I'm happy. Well, you're pleased. It's not just generally happy. If I'm generally anything, I guess I'm generally miserable. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe, one of the most iconic figures of the 20th century, was covered in mystery, glamour, and tragedy. Her death in 1962 at the age of 36, called a probable suicide due to an overdose, has been a topic of speculation for decades. The notion that envy and the evil eye played a role in her death suggests that the immense jealousy and negative energy directed towards her beauty, fame, and success may have contributed to her downfall. In my personal life, I have dived into the topic of evil eye this year, especially as I have been dealing with it even more intensely. And I really know the destructive power of envy and jealousy that simply translates to evil. And therefore, we will explore this topic more in depth and in regards to Marilyn Monroe. We will dive into her story from the perspective of envy and what all religions call the evil eye. So let's explore this idea more deeply from both psychological, sociocultural and metaphorical perspective. The evil eye is a belief rooted in many ancient cultures and religions. It is the belief that someone can cause harm, misfortune or even death to another through jealousy or ill intent, often by simply looking at them with envy. This concept transcends mere superstition and can be seen as a metaphor for the destructive power power of jealousy and the negative energy it generates. In Marilyn Monroe's case, this theory implies that the overwhelming jealousy and attention she received, not just from individuals in her personal life, but from the broader public, created a toxic environment that contributed to her downfall. Envy, on the other hand, is a human emotion that arises when someone desires what another person has. In Marilyn Monroe's case, people may have envied her beauty, charm, success, kindness, and influence. However, envy is often accompanied by hostility or a subconscious desire to see the envied person fail. Marilyn Monroe was at the pinnacle of her stardom, admired and desired by millions. Yet her life behind the glamour was marked by immense loneliness, insecurity, and vulnerability. The weight of constantly being envied and scrutinized have worn her down emotionally and psychologically contributing to the fragile state of mind that led to her tragic end. It was in her book where she described the feeling of going to a party and having no woman to speak to. For the kind person that she was, she was also very beautiful and her beauty was the biggest reason of the envy that she experienced. Even the men around her would turn envious as she was somehow an unachievable goal for many of them. The unattainable desire. And this really creates a hell lot of envy and energy from men also. A person like Marilyn Monroe will be both desired and hated by many. And this is such a difficult place to navigate from. And if you have watched the movie Malena, you will know what I speak about. Every attractive woman who stands out has to deal with this energy also, the evil eye. Now let's continue. Marilyn Monroe's rise to fame in the 1950s, 1960s made her a symbol of beauty, femininity and sensuality. She became an object of desire for men and a source of envy for women. However, being an object of envy is often double-edged. People might have celebrated her public image, but behind that admiration lurked resentment. Women envied her beauty and sex appeal, while men both desired her and felt threatened by her independence and sexual freedom. Marilyn Monroe's public persona was highly sexualized. However, it was often at odds with her private self, and so she was, in many ways, a victim of her own fame. The constant gaze of the media and the public turned her into an idealized figure that no one, not even herself, could live up to. Marilyn Monroe struggled to assert control over her career and image, fighting against the very industry and public that helped create her. The pressure to maintain an unattainable standard of beauty and perfection, while at the same time being resented for her success, left her feeling powerless and objectified. And 
and envy that she inspired to many forms. Colleagues and actresses may have resented her for their attention and also the opportunities that she has received. While the public's fascination with her every move created a suffocating environment in which she was unable to escape the spotlight. This constant pressure contributed to her isolation and sense of alienation, which probably only deepened her mental health issues. The evil eye in modern terms can also be seen as the destructive influence of constant public scrutiny and media sensation seeking. The paparazzi and tabloids were relentless in their coverage of Marilyn Monroe's life, capitalizing on her struggles and personal hardships. And in this sense, the media acted as a collective evil eye, amplifying her flaws and insecurities for the world to see. Every failed relationship and personal struggle was laid before the public consumption. And Marilyn Monroe's personal life was filled with turbulence, including troubled marriages, failed love affairs, and the battle with mental health issues, substance abuse, and many miscarriages. The relentless public interest in her private life, especially the very famous relationship with powerful men like the president John F. Kennedy and his brother Robert Kennedy, only intensified her emotional struggles. And all of this could be linked to a modern day curse where fame became a prison and the collective envy and gaze of millions weighed heavily on her psyche. In the end, the media's constant attention on her personal tragedies contributed to her downward spiral, as Marilyn Monroe was never allowed the privacy and space to heal from her emotional wounds. Instead, all of her vulnerabilities were exploited for headlines and gossip, which only further isolated her and drive her deeper into despair. Marilyn Monroe's romantic relationships were also filled with tension, often marked by envy and control. All of her marriages were highly publicized, and all of those men also struggled with her fame. Those men envied her popularity and the attention that she received from other men that created a strain on the relationship, leading to its eventual downfall. And her relationship with the president, Kennedy, and his brother also have played a role in the darker conspiracy theories about her death. And of course, those theories are really speculative and not proven to be true, but the public attention those stories received definitely has played a huge role in her emotional instability. Also, from a psychological perspective, the constant envy and attention that Marilyn Monroe has faced had a profound effect on her mental health. Fame, and particularly at the level Marilyn Monroe experience, often comes with intense insulation and the emotional fragility. Marilyn Monroe suffered from depression, anxiety, and feelings of inadequacy throughout her life. And despite her outward success, she often felt unloved and unappreciated as a person, valued only for her looks and sexual appeal. This collective hate and resentment is a really difficult place to navigate with. And Marilyn, especially as a person who survived so much abuse in her childhood, was even more prone to this negative effect of the symbolic evil eye that she witness throughout all of her life. Also, the immense pressure to maintain her image coupled with the envy and ill will directed towards her have certainly deepened her mental health issues. In this sense, the evil eye and the envy of others acted as external force that contributed to her inner turmoil. And so, Marilyn Monroe's struggles with addiction were likely a way of coping with this overwhelming stress and loneliness that she felt. However, as we know, this has led to her downfall. It may be Overly simplistic to say that this symbolic evil eye and envy killed Marilyn Monroe. However, those powerful forces definitely played an important role in the toxic environment that surrounded her. The constant jealousy, scrutiny, and objectification that she experienced created an emotional and psychological pressure from which she could not escape. And Marilyn Monroe's tragic death was the result of a complex interplay of personal demons, mental health struggles, substance abuse and definitely the destructive influence of fame and public envy. And so in many ways Marilyn Monroe's story serves as a important tale about the darker side of fame and the human cost of being idolized and envied. She was a woman despite her immense success was ultimately destroyed by the very forces that has made her so popular. And whether we view the evil eye as the literal curse or the metaphor for the destructive power 
of envy. It is really clear to me that Marilyn Monroe was deeply affected by the envy and attention that she received throughout her life. And this has certainly played a very significant role in her tragic end. I particularly wanted to dive into this topic at this year. With your level up journey and the journey towards beauty and success comes a huge pressure that many people have failed to address properly. Amy Winehouse, Michael Jackson, Princess Diana and many many more. Success, fame and immense beauty definitely have its darker side and we cannot forget about it. I think the solution here is investing your time in a very heavy inner work, going to a therapist's office and working through your issues so evil eye cannot reach you. And as I mentioned before, all religions warn you against the evil eye. And even if you are a non-believer, the power of envy is not something we should disregard. I personally started doing a very heavy inner work together with therapist and diving into religious practices so that I can protect myself from the evil energies that surround me every day. And you see, as with any toxicity, detect it and then stay away from it. Your good energy and the belief in the good will protect you against it. And so please let me know about your experience with envy and jealousy and your opinion on this topic. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.